Leo. Hi, kitty. Hello from Leo. Hazel and Kath. <laughs> we are out on the front porch again today. My very favorite place. I have some mums at the door. Oh, that always gets me so excited for fall when the mums come out and I usually have in the summer a bunch of ferns at the door and uh, some bright colored geraniums but when the uh, mums come I switch it out. That's always uh, the sign that the seasons are changing. I also right next to me have a fall candle if you can see that. Uh, it is a beautifully scented candle with uh, pumpkin and cinnamon and vanilla and maybe a little clove. So uh, I have it out on the porch. It's so nice that I don't even have to uh, light it to have, feel that, to smell the kind of wafting fall scents. Uh, how does anybody else love fall like I do? I've actually, I, my birthday is in the spring, it's in April. And I tend to be a spring and summer girl. Uh, but for some reason, every year, I just love the September, October, November, that beautiful uh, seasons change. The equinox is about to uh, arrive here in Indiana and of course around the world. Uh, and uh, I really feel that change in the seasons, that the, real, um, the equinoxes and the solstices tend to be uh, favorite times of mine. Um, I feel like I must have some Celtic genealogy that traces back to a lot of those t ancient times where they celebrated the solstices and the equinoxes, and, and I still do to this day. My parents, they know Summer solstice is one of my favorite days, high energy, the day of the sun. And again, with the winter solstice, the darkest, where there are a lot of candles and and going within and, and kind of making those intentions. So I do love the, the spiritual side of some of the seasons. Uh, what's your favorite season? I would love to know. And if you're still here, uh, give me a like or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm a pretty new channel and um, it's nothing fancy. It might be uh, talking with me as a friend out on the front porch with a cup of coffee or uh, taking a walk in the woods. Oh, you can hear those wind chimes. Like some dragonfly wind chimes right over my shoulder uh, right there <laughs> so uh, anyway I love to share this with you um, and I really don't know where this is gonna go I think I'm gonna keep it really simple and just um, com converse like you and I are a friend sitting here you're sitting right next to me in my rocking chair. I live way out in the country um, in a rural town in the Midwest and I have four kids. They're older, uh, 17 to 24, and a husband and um, I'm in a life transition myself. Uh, my kids don't need me as much, uh, but they're still around. Um, mostly they're in um, college, graduate school, and high, late, the senior year of high school, uh, but everyone's around. I do still uh, make all the meals, which is, is a big job with six of us. And um, so I thought this channel might be fun, just something for me, and hopefully to connect with you as a friend, um, as a, a mom or a friend or a, someone who works um, in the home or everybody works in the home. It uh, does a lot of housework and I will talk about that because I'm on a simplifying journey. I have a lot of clutter to clear and who doesn't really, but it's really been um, an intention of mine to um, start going through a lot of clutter that we do not need, things that with the kids don't need anymore, and um, little nooks and crannies of piles and clothes 
to be donated. Uh, so if you're on this journey, let me know. I would love to connect with you here. Uh, and I probably plan on talking about that on simplicity and um, gentle living, simple living. Uh, we're coming into the cozy seasons. Uh, it's a stressful world out there, out working and um, you go anywhere and people are a lot very stressed uh, financially and emotionally and physically. And I want this to be a place of comfort and joy and authenticity. So thank you so much for joining me and I will be back very soon. You take care.